Singapore is hoping for an ambitious review to its existing free trade agreement with Japan. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong said this after meeting Japanese leader Shinzo Abe. They exchanged views on regional security, including tensions over a group of islands known as Senkaku in Japan and Diaoyu in China. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong said he had good meetings with Japanese leaders. He met his Japanese counterpart Shinzo Abe, and then later Japanese Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister Taro Aso. As the world's third largest economy, Japan has played an important role in Singapore's economic development. Trade links got a boost with a bilateral free trade agreement signed in 2002. Japan was Singapore's eighth largest trade partner last year. We are negotiating a third review currently, so I encourage the Japanese side to make it an ambitious review and not just make minor adjustments to it. With renewed confidence in the Japanese economy, Mr. Lee noted that it's also important for Japan to broaden its relations with ASEAN. This year marks the 40th anniversary of the ASEAN-Japan Friendship Corporation. With countries like Singapore, the trade, the investments have played a big role in our uh, economic uh, uh, transformation and continue to be important to us because now the Japanese companies are in Singapore with regional headquarters, with R&D operations, with HR activities. And uh, I think these are things which they can do more with individual countries. But at the same time, I, I, it's necessary for Japan to engage ASEAN as a group. The leaders also exchanged views on the territorial tensions over the mineral-rich islands in the East China Sea, claimed by both Japan and China. Mr. Lee said the issue should not prevent the countries involved from cooperating on other broad areas, a point which he said Mr. Abe agreed with. He also said countries need to come to terms with their historical past and find reconciliation. We should move forward and not keep on reopening old issues. Because if we keep on reopening old issues, it becomes more difficult. Uh, to develop the relationships and the cooperation which, which you need in order to thrive in the 21st century. The last time Prime Minister Lee was here for a bilateral visit was four years ago, but the engagement continued with regular meetings among cabinet ministers, parliamentarians and government officials. Now Mr Lee is here to attend the Nikkei conference where he's scheduled to give a keynote address and participate in a dialogue session. That will happen on Thursday. Imelda Saar, Channel News Asia, Tokyo, Japan.